Hey everyone, welcome on my YouTube channel. I'm Pierre Meunier and today we will talk about radio modes and how to check your CG, what it is and yeah, all this thing. Let's go. So first of all, let me put this thing on the side and talk about the radio modes. So this is my turn is to show you how the modes works. So the modes are one, two, three and four. Uh, this uh, make what do your sticks as input. So if it's your ailerons, elevator, rudder or throttle. So let's go ahead and see what the mod 1 do. Mod 1 is like this. Throttle, ailerons, elevator, rudder. Okay. Mod 2. Throttle, rudder, ailerons, elevator. Mod 3, throttle, rudder, ailerons, elevator. And mod 4, throttle, ailerons, rudder, elevator. Okay, this is the four modes. So if someone told to you about what mode are you flying with, uh, now you can answer him what mode you are flying with. So if you are in USA or if you fly with uh, ready to fly glider or drone or anything like this most of ready to fly come with mod 2 radio controller so any radio controller can be switched if it's able to be programmed uh, you can switch it from mod 1 to mod 3 to mod 4 to mod 2 it doesn't matter because it's just uh, spring loaded sticks because it's a tyrannous I can Without dismounting it, uh, if I have with for a glider, not for a drone, because I need to unspring the stick if I want to have a throttle. But I can switch directly in the menu of the radio from mod 1 to mod 2 to mod 3 to mod 4. It's really easy, but it's a turn, it's, it's special. For any other radio, uh, it works a bit differently, but you can find it in the user manual. So, this is or work a radio. So as I told you already in USA it's mostly mod 2 radio. In France or Germany it's most of mod 1. So I talk about aero models, not about drones or anything like this because for drones most of pilots are in mod 2 uh, anywhere in the world but for aero models uh, it really depends on the region of the world. So yeah, it's quite funny, but it's a bit of history at the same time. So yeah, not now let's talk about the CG. So what the CG is, it's the center of gravity. So it's the point of balance of your airplane or glider. So for this I take my energy. This is my main glider. So it works the same for everything. The center of gravity, CG, is the point of balance and you measure it from the leading edge of the wing, so the front of the wing, to the point of balance of the plane or glider. So the energy, me, I put the center of gravity at 66 millimeters from the leading edge. So to check that, I put two stickers, take, took a ruler and measure 66 millimeters and after that I put some lead in the nose uh, to balance the glider perfectly to 66 millimeters. So how to check that? You put it on your fingers or you make a tool like a U-shaped tool with really fine tips to balance your plane or glider simply like this. So you put it like this and if it balances, it's good. Okay? Perfectly in balance. So, this is how do you check the CG. But how important is it? This is a good question. Why to respect the CG? Because if it's too much in front, you can see that as a gyrate. So where the axis is, the center of rotation, if we can call it like this. So if it's too much in front like this, it will be really like a boat. It will be really, really locked in, but um, really hard to turn because the weight is really in front. And for planes, uh, you will need to put so much up elevator to compensate the nose to dive. So, 
too much in front is not good. But too much in rear, it's not that good too because it would be really in unstable, really easy to wiggle and the tail will be heavy and it will be like this. It will really be unstable. So there is a range of CG that's in the usual manual of most gliders plane when you buy something. It's from a minimum to a maximum. Uh, for a beginner, just go with the minimum. If it's like 74 millimeters, you go for 74 millimeters. No more in front. Okay, so it's rather better a tiny bit uh, reward than the most in front. Or if you want to go for the most performance or more unstable uh, CG, never go further back than the most reward CG. So it's really an advice I've give, I give you to avoid crashing your plane or glider. So if you want something middle ground, just go in the middle of the range. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me for today. I hope you learned something today. Uh, I will continue on, on beginner basis uh, for quite few videos now. And uh, after that, we will go step by step up level uh, to, for everyone to be able to follow the more uh, advanced video. So yeah, thank you a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next one. Bye.